Hi YouTube, it's uh, Joe here from South East London. It's uh, Saturday morning and I just got back from a boot sale and done, um, yeah, it's definitely been my best boot sale of the year so far. It's not a particularly big boot sale, but just so many of the stalls had great stuff today. I just did really, really well. Got really lucky on one or two items as well, um, which I'll show you yeah, now. But just, yeah, fantastic boot sale. Just real quality stuff there. Really, really lucky. Definitely my best haul of the year. Um, some good sales from yesterday, which I'll show you as well. But I'm just going to get straight into what I've done and what I picked up. Uh, one guy who I buy a lot of stuff off, and he's really reasonably priced. He had this um, Kodak ink, these sort of 30XL blacks and a few colour ones and this. And he wanted five quid for a lot of that ink, and I took that off him. So that was great. I was really pleased with that. These sell reasonably well. Um, they're not brilliant ones, so I'll probably just bundle all the 30 stuff up together and then probably get about eight quid for this one. But no, that was a good start to the day. Um... I don't know how best to do this. I'm just going to go just sort of through what I've got. I can't really do much of an order here. I'll just show you what I did. These Converse, I paid five quid for these. It's pretty much about the most I'll pay for Converse, but they're in really good condition. They're sort of like a yellowy mustard colour. So five quid for them, which was great. I'll come over here now and do it this way. Right, these are a pair of Asics Lahar trail um shoes now these ones there is a little bit of wear on the inside of them i picked up a couple of pairs of trainers this week which did have a little bit of wear or a few little faults on them but i was aware of them i did spot them it's got a very little bit of just sort of fluffing here at the back and the reason ordinarily if it was like a cheaper pair of trainers that would put me off straight away but i know these trainers are worth a load of money i've sold a pair of women's ones to these for 45 quid in the past um, so even with that little error, that little mark there i should do well I should sort of get at least sort of 30 pounds for those and that was a three pound buy a pair of uh, Reebok Classics, paid three quid for these. I've got a couple of pairs of these on the go at the moment, but it should do all right with them. Uh, picked up quite a few pairs of Air Force Ones, paid different prices for them. These ones were in good condition. These were only two quid, so I was really pleased with them. They're a size eight, so they're a really good size. Two quid, should look to get about 30 quid back on those ones once I've cleaned them up. I don't buy too much Timberland stuff, um, just because I'm not... I struggle to spot what's real and what's fake with it, but these were definitely real, and these were three quid. A nice pair of ladies pink waterproof boots uh, size six i should do well with those uh, another pair of air force ones let me see where i am yeah these ones were three quid i bought some trainers i bought three or four pairs of trainers off of one family and they were each sort of three pound four pounds those were great these ones here these are nike trail wind i think or something uh wind wind runner yeah sorry nike wind runner three quid i've not had these before they're in reasonable good nick um yeah should be about 25 quid back on them nice pair of black reebok classics three quid they've got a little bit of paint on them but that should come off with a bit of um nail varnish remover just got to be careful when using nail varnish remover that you don't start sort of staining or taking off the color of the leather and stuff like that so just be a bit a bit cautious when you use that stuff over here now this guy he, he sells a lot of trainers as well and um he was one of the first guys i went to and i paid up a little bit for these ones but i did all right um there's a really nice pair of nike air force ones um whites and then a really nice pair of size six blacks good pair of nike air max 90 lights which are really nice trainers um yeah in really good condition and then this little pair of jordans at the back Let's see if i can get hold of them yeah really nice little pair of kids jordans and i said how much for those and he wanted I sort of had in my head, I knew he was going to say 30 quid and I knew I wouldn't be able to bargain much with him. He was sort of working out sort of like £8 a pair of trainers really, so 8, 16, 24, sort of 5, 6 quid for those. And I found, saw these nice um, leather uh, Converse fold-over trainers as well. A little bit of wear to the heels, but in good condition, size 9, so a really good male size. Um, they're quite nice and I sort of chucked them in as well and I managed to get all of them for 35 quid. So yeah, really good, really pleased with that. Um, because there's good money in these. I mean, these again, sort of 25 to 30 quid on these. The black ones, I'll get 30 quid for all day on. So yeah, really pleased with all that. Um, more trainers. I think I've counted them up. I picked up 20 pairs of trainers this morning. But yeah, these are a nice pair of blazers. Black ones in good condition. They were three quid. And then the other pair of trainers, which were a bit damaged, a bit more sort of worn than I would have liked were these. These are Nike... Air Force One flights or Air Force One Jordans, I think they're called, or you could uh, AFJs. Um, it's what they are. They're basically the Air Force, but with the Jordans sort of um, sort of touches and branding. And they were a little bit worn on the inner heel here on both of them. And then this one had a little bit of wear on the heel down here. And again, these that's the sort of thing that ordinarily that would have put me off, and I wouldn't have bought them. But because and there's a bit of sort of scuffing here, but these go for sort of sixty quid on eBay. Um, when they're in good condition so i knew and i asked the lady how much she wanted she wanted three quid and i got them for two so two quid on them even if i sell them turn them around quickly at 20 quid or sort of 15 20 quid there's still plenty of money in those uh the back ones here 
another pair of Nike Air Max 90s, they were four quid, they've got sort of like a tea towel -y sort of pattern on them, they're quite interesting. And then these ones, my wife's going to be thrilled that I found these, because I don't know if you remember, but I'd, I had a pair of these already. Not quite, it's very, very similar, it's just a slightly different pattern on the back here, in a size five and a half. And she was wearing them and quite enjoying wearing them, but I, and I meant to take them off eBay, but I forgot to, so I just sold them, and so she was really pissed that I sold those. So I found a replacement pair for her, and these are a really good nick, so I'll just clean those up. I'll see, maybe I'll give them to her, maybe I'll just sell them on again and won't show her, but we'll see. No, that'd be cruel. I will show her. So, um, yeah, but if I didn't, you'd probably get about again. I think I've got 25 quid for the last pair, 20, 25 quid. For the, so that was that was great. A couple of pairs of jeans. These are top shop jeans. These are Jamie. They're quite small, 25, uh, waist 25, leg 32. My wife will try them on, see if she wants them. If not, I'll sell them. And a nice pair of Levi 511s, 30, 32, and they were a pound each. Levi 511s, always look out for those. They're the slim fit ones, and they're a great seller. So, yeah, really pleased with those. If Lauren wants these, she can have them. If not, I'll just sell them on. Paid up for these, but they were really cool. These are little Nike Nike Flight toddler trainers. I paid five quid for those, but I'll get 20, 25 quid for those easy. Paid four quid. No, actually, I paid three quid. This was in the family who had like quite a few pairs of trainers. They wanted four quid for them, but I bought quite a few, so I got them for each for three quid. Nice pair of kids, 95s, all white ones, so they'll do really well as well. Should get sort of 20, 25 back on those. Thing is, is that it costs exactly the same to post this little toddler pair of trainers. It does one of these sort of massive pairs of trainers. They're sort of under a kilo, but they're too big for a large letter. So it's a bit frustrating that you still have to pay the same postage, but it's just one of those things. And then a little pair of Air Force Ones, size three. Um, it's not size three, but they were three quid, so that was those. Picked up some media stuff, did quite well with this. Now, one, there was a family there, and they had sort of loads of old sort of media and... Um, PC games and all sorts, VHSs. I wish I knew a little bit more about it. I there was he had some sort of like maybe sort of, sort of racy movies, sort of adult movies, and I don't really know much about that. Huh, he says. I genuinely don't. I don't know much about that. And um I don't know if there's any money in it, but I saw these two sort of ones which caught my eye and I looked up the for the Project AKO one and that had gone for about five, six quid. And I just looked this one up when I gone home and someone sold that VHS for twelve ninety nine with postage on top and I paid fifty P for each of those, so that was really good. Um Paid three quid for this Windows Vista business. Um, it's one of those big box software things. This goes not not one of the premium ones, but goes for about twenty to twenty five quid, so that was great. Now, I took a chance on this, just saw it, Game of Thrones, uh, this was 50p as well, um, but yeah, it does alright, I don't know if that's one which is a use only one time one, so I will be selling that on a different account, so I don't get any defects against me, if it does go pear shaped. And likewise with this Dawn of War 2, this was 50p, um, and yeah, I don't know if it's a use only once one, um, so I'll have to check that. Paid uh, 25p on, on the paid 50p for these two worms on the PS2 and then The Incredibles. Now the reason I bought this Incredibles, I do I, I do and I don't, I don't really buy much Disney stuff, but just starting to get into it. I saw one guy, um, I apologise for not knowing his name, he's just starting to do YouTube videos, and I saw that he'd sold sort of like 25 um, various um, Disney DVDs and he got 145 quid for them and I thought 25 quid I'm picking these up for a pound 50p you know that's only going to cost me 20 quid maximum turn that into 140 quid that's well worth doing so thanks for the sort of info on that but yeah I'll be picking up those in the future so yeah that was those um pay a pound for Wii Sports this took a chance on because it was four for a, four for a pound one guy had on his DVDs this Norton all-in-one security I'll go on to the Norton um, help desk and find out if that's been used or not um, yeah, which is really quite helpful. You just sort of give them the code and they'll tell you if there's any uses back on that. Two Harry Potter DVDs and then, what's the last thing? Oh yeah, just, and again, just to make it up to four things, this made man. I don't even know if that's worth anything on the PS2. But the thing is with these, again, these Harry Potters, the sort of the double disc editions or the special edition ones, if you get all seven of those, you can do quite well on those. So for 25p, worth picking them up. Now, this was probably some of the best stuff I got this um, today. Paid 50p on each of these big box PC games. Now, I've done quite a few of these in the past, and there's not a lot of money in lots of them, but I did know I did know a few, couple of these there was going to be really good money in. So this Grand Theft Auto is one of them. This is really good. This goes for about 20 to... Well, one guy's got 30 quid for it. It's got all the maps in it, and it's like in mint condition, so that was brilliant. Icewind Dale, which is part of the sort of Baldur's Gate Forgotten Realms franchise. Um, not so good. Sort of about 7, 8 quid in that one. FIFA 98, and I said I paid 50p on all each of these. FIFA 98, about 10 quid on that one. Windows 98 upgrade, again around 10 quid. Age of Empires, similar sort of money. 
but the best two by a mile were these two these sort of um these lula sort of 18 they're sort of 18 games they're sort of click and click and play a bit like what's it leisure's leisure's lounge leisure suite larry or whatever his name was a bit like that so they're a bit a bit racy you know you've got to go around picking up girls in strip clubs and all that sort of thing um but those they're both cds they're both in there in really good condition again and somebody's got those both listed at sort of 45 quid on ebay at the moment they've sold for about 40 in the past so i might do the pair together try and get i don't know 60 70 quid for them but real result that was so really pleased with that Dawson's Creek, uh, the complete box set, paid five quid for that. It's not a massive seller, but you'll get about 20, 25 back on that. So it's going to cost a bit to post. Some um, these Amstrad games. Now I don't normally buy, I don't normally buy Amstrad games, but I did look a few of these up, and these are all the disc. Uh, these are disc versions, and the discs sell better than the cassettes in my experience. This is Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja, and that does quite well. That goes sort of six, seven quid, and these were 50p each. So yeah, and you couldn't really lose on those. So yeah, pleased with those. And then Tetris Jenga, I just bought that because I was interested to know what it's all about. That was a pound, so I'll probably, I might play that at work. Some of the youth groups I work for, I'm sure they'll appreciate that. So that was that. Oh yeah, and then just one last thing, I've got some Harry Juku Lovers perfume. And for those of you who don't know, oh sorry, okay, just reaching. With perfume, I think somebody might have put this in the Facebook group or something. Even though they can be used sometimes, the bottles are still, um, you still make money on them. Someone I think had some loads of um, Mark Jacobs Daisy bottles and did well with them. And things like this, these Harry Juku bottles, they're Gwen Stefani perfumes. The bottles, even once they're empty, still sell really well. But this one's, this one's pretty much full, and that was five quid. And this, again, it's one which my wife wears, so um, she doesn't watch my YouTube videos, so maybe she'll get this for Christmas or birthday. Or maybe I'll just give it to her. So that's that. And then the last thing I picked up was CDs. Again, a guy has CDs all the time, and he sells them for 10p each if you buy 10. Now, I, I, and I just tend to sort of look for stuff which I think might be worth a bit of money or 30p with Music Magpie or stuff like that, or, you know, sort of a few which I do all right with. So I just picked up sort of normal, just all sorts here, and they're, they're sort of worth 30p each of these, so there's not a huge amount of money in them. But the reason I do this is just because on the odd chance you can find something worth quite a bit of money. I've had some NWAs and two packs and... Um, Iron Maiden ones in the past, but this time I just totally fluked it on one of these pickups, okay? So this is a CD called Judgment, and I can't, it's a, I've done a bit of research, it's a Dutch band, I don't know if you can see that, it's, it's, the name is like Sis Come, Sis John of the Miz Tier, whatever that means, okay? And looking in here, just looks like a regular CD to me, it's not got, got a barcode on it, which is always like quite a good sign, because that can sometimes be a sort of a a pre-release thing or a first pressing or something like that. So I typed it into Google, I mean typed it into eBay, I'll see if I just get it up on my computer. And I was just blown away by the prices that this goes for. So just give me a second, I've just got to log in. There we go, yeah sorry about that, just had to log into my computer. And this one is a sold price for this one. Apparently, yeah, it's some sort of first edition pressing of this CD, which was a total fluke on my part. I had no idea about that. And yeah, got really lucky. So that's what that one had sold for, $150. Um, there's another one down here as well, which is sold for, yeah, 40, 40 quid. But that one, yeah, went for 96 quid. And then there's some of the more, the, I guess the second pressing or the second release of them. So that was an absolute fluke. I mean, I don't know much about CDs, but that's why I do this. I take a chance on these sort of pound, pound for 10. Most of them just go to Music Magpie. That's not really worth anything. But occasionally there's something in there which is an absolute diamond. So that was, a yeah, just a massive fluke on my part. And the last thing I bought was this Cricket Bat. Grey Nichols Excalibur Special. Um, it's got a few little little marks in it little dings where it's obviously not been knocked in properly and it's cracked but it was three quid and one of these sold for 31 quid which is in worse condition than this the, on, on ebay and i'm playing a bit of cricket this season so i might give that a run out and then maybe sell it on or just give it away or something like that so that was all my pickups today so yeah easily my best pickups um for just one boot sale i was going to go out tomorrow but i don't know if i'm going to bother now um i've just got so much to get on with here it seems like almost a waste of time to do that but that's all that stuff in terms of sales yesterday i had another good day yesterday um i'll just whiz, whiz through what i sold um i sold this calculator this texas instruments t84 uh tom the english picker wanted this one of his clients wanted it for i think one of their kids or something like that so i sold it to him sort of not through ebay but yeah just passed that on to him so that's really great and i i owed him nine quid for the buzz buzzers so we came to a little arrangement on that so that was really great 
Age of Empires, uh, Age of Kings, got eight quid for this big box, so not particularly good money, but, um, you know, just one of those things, um, good to sort of shift those. Uh, this was good sale, this is these Converse, these nice white seven Converse, got £26.50 for those for free shipping. Uh, in here's a pair of, not very helpful is it, but a pair of black bands. I wrapped them up by mistake because I thought someone had bought them the other day, but size 10, just black authentic vans, got 20 quid for those. Resident Evil 4 on the PS2, 5 quid with free shipping. This pair of Air Force Ones, not great condition, but um, reasonable, £22.50, size 8s. And then a good sale on these three SNES games, which I paid, you know, I pick them up in bundles, I pay for a few pounds here, there and there. I've got 57 57 quid for the three of them that's what I sell those at so yeah those were my sales so all in all good day yesterday um good sales and good pickups one thing I would just quickly say is I've been following a bit of the stuff that people have been saying on um the Facebook group and some of the posts about defect and about a defect for late delivery or item not arriving on time and I've sort of spoken to eBay about this in the past and it's just one of those things that's really frustrating you can buy an item someone can buy an item you know, almost within an hour or a couple of hours, you can nip down to the post office, send it to them Royal Mail first class. And if it doesn't get to them within like the six days or five days that eBay allow and they open a case against you, even I phoned them up and I sort of spoke to eBay and said, look, this is a situation. They said, it doesn't matter. They said, you're providing a service for that person. And if it doesn't get there on time, they're entitled to open that and you're going to get a defect against your name. And I said, well, I said to the guy over the phone, I said, well, can I claim against Royal Mail then? Because they're damaging my business. They're damaging my top rated seller status, which, you know, if you're selling a thousand pounds worth of stuff over the, you know, your fees, not that I sell that much, but if you've got a thousand pound fees, that's a hundred quid difference, the 10% saving you get for top rated seller status. So, and he said, yeah, you, you can, you can claim against Royal Mail. I don't know if I will or how that works, claiming for sort of delayed postage. But when you buy something first class with Royal Mail, you're entering into a contract with them on the understanding that they're going to post that item. They're going to get that there within sort of one, two working days. So I don't know. It's, it's irritating because you can do everything you want to on your part as a seller. You can describe items perfectly. You can do everything that you have to do. And some idiot just on the other end can... You know, or you can be let down by Royal Mail or Hermes or some idiot can just open a case for some stupid reason. And it's really difficult to get these defects removed and it does affect you. My top rate of seller status is really annoying at the moment. I'm sitting, I think, at 2.02 .02 or 2.05, something like that. So if I could have just got one of those defects removed or if I can just have a few good days, a few, couple of good weeks, I will get that back, which would be really great. But, you know, that's my little not rant but you know it is irritating when you do everything that you can do you put the item in the hands of royal mail you trust that they're going to get it there and they don't and the case gets opened against you you just cannot get that one removed because it has been over the number of days and so yeah really irritating but you know the sales make up for it and you just got to keep plodding on and pressing on so that's me sorry this video has ran on um but yeah i had lots to get through and lots to say um may go out tomorrow i'll see how i feel um yeah, we'll just see. And if I do, I'll do another video. Anyway, guys, it's been great talking and I will yeah, speak to you soon. Bye.